What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best way to rank up your weapons in Black Ops 6. Now, I don't think it matters what mode you're choosing to play, mainly whether it's MP, Zombies, or maybe you're heading into Warzone. You're probably looking to unlock the attachments for your weapons. Maybe you're going for the GS45 as a Zombies player and you want the Akimbo attachments. Maybe you want to level up your Model L if you're an MP person. Or maybe you're just looking to level up as many weapons as possible ahead of Warzone, hoping to get the right meta ahead of the game actually getting integrated. But whatever the case might be is, you're going to want to actually level up these weapons as quickly as possible. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my method on what I'm currently doing. Now it is double XP weekend, so keep that in mind. This is probably the time to actually grind out as many weapons as you can it's going to be really fast. Now, I definitely feel like the leveling process for weapons, at least in zombies, feels faster than it was last year. I think last year it was probably a lot faster to jump into multiplayer. This year, it feels like you get regular XP at a much faster rate in multiplayer. Maybe it's the amount of challenges that you're able to complete when you do in zombies. But for sure, you're going to want to jump into zombies in order to level up your weapons. Now, there is a system that you're going to want to follow when it comes to this in order to maximize XP. Now, I will say if you're jumping into zombies to specifically level up your weapons, it doesn't hurt to go for your critical kills as well, which eventually will lead to you unlocking camos because that's also going to give you XP. So essentially, you're just going to dive into zombies. You can do it with a brand new level one weapon if you'd like. That's what I did in order to test this. And you're going to want to stay until round 31. It does get a little bit tough at some point around 21, 25, just depending on what weapon that you're using, and it will get substantially more difficult after round 31. You're probably not going to want to stay after that unless you're really just trying to wrap up a specific camo challenge. But essentially, every weapon, at least that I've used up to this point during the camo grind, has been able to make it through to round 31. Some weapons will be a little bit faster and efficient than others, but I'm able to get to round 31 in about 50 minutes. So within that time frame, I was able to level up my weapon from level one all the way up to level 25, which is more than the halfway point for majority of the weapons. I don't think there's a single weapon that has a level 50 requirement. I think most of them cap out around 44, 45. So that is gonna be more than the halfway point. And I did that again in that 50 minutes time. If you're using something like a secondary, it's gonna be somewhere in the 30s. So that's gonna be well over the halfway point. You'll be able to get through, level up those weapons as quickly as possible. Exfil at round 31 using my method that I can pin in the pin comment down below. Whether that's going to be a mutant injection or a chopper gunner is going to be up to you. But I do think 31 is going to be that sweet spot. I think there's people that are saying 21. Some people might be saying 26. But I think the way that the weapon XP actually functions in this game, it doesn't cap out like it was in previous years. So it's going to allow you to actually accumulate as much as you can throughout the time that you are going to be most efficient. Once you get past 31, the weapon just drops off so dramatically that you're not going to be able to eliminate zombies fast enough for it to be reasonable. So at that 31, you're going to want to go ahead and head over to that exfil. Exfil safely. And like I said, in my experience, I was able to get over halfway done with the weapon in one run. Basically, I think if you did two runs, 50 minute run in the first one, Maybe you did half the amount of time in the second one. You might even be able to max out and either exfil early or back out if you're not really that worried about the exfil. And you would have maxed out your weapon in an hour and a half or so. I do want to quickly mention as well, if it just so happens that you're watching this video and it's no longer double XP, this will be extremely efficient regularly as well. Definitely more efficient than multiplayer because you'll still just be able to earn as much as you can throughout that time. Xville at 31. It might only be half the rate of double, but hey, at least that's a good amount. And you'll still be able to get through these weapon levels pretty efficiently. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. That's my strategy or method on currently getting XP for weapons as quickly as possible. I think this is probably the fastest method we have right now. I definitely don't think multiplayer is the most efficient just due to the simple fact that it's variable for everyone. Not everyone's going to get the same amount of kills. Not everyone's going to have the same experience. Inherently, I just think this is better across the board for all players. On average, they're going to be able to do this significantly faster. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video. All support the channel. Look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!